How's it going, my friends? Welcome to my channel, Corgan Komodo. Today I have another great video for you guys. Uh, let's go ahead and start right now. So for the most part, uh, these phones uh, share the same specs. Uh, we're talking about 155 grams of weight on the G4 versus 192 grams on the uh, V10. Uh, IPS LCD display on both. 5.7 inches on the uh, V10 versus 5.5 on the uh, G4. Same screen resolution, 2K Quad HD display. More pixel density on the G4 with 538 versus 515. Uh, both offer Corning Gorilla Glass. Uh, the uh, V10 offers a secondary display, 2.1 inches. We're gonna talk about that later. Uh, opening system Android Lollipop on both. I'm sure it's gonna be upgraded later to uh, Marshmallow. Processor, the same processor. Uh, hexa core or six cores uh, adreno 418 on both uh, both support micro sd card up to 200 gigabyte on the uh, v10 and up to 128 gigabyte on the uh, g4 uh, the v10 only comes in a 64 gigabyte of uh, internal storage with 4 gig of ram versus uh, 32 gigabyte of internal storage on the uh, g4 and 3 gig of ram as far as the cameras, same specs, uh, 60 megapixel on the rear, the same sensor, 1.8 aperture, laser out of focus, LED flash. Now, as far as the front facing camera on the, uh, on the G4, we have eight megapixel versus five megapixel, but the aperture on the uh, front facing camera on the uh, V10, it's at 2.2. Uh, last but not least to mention the battery, it's the same battery, 3000 milliamp battery, are removable on both uh, phones so as you guys can see pretty much uh, when it comes to uh, navigating uh, through the settings app drawer and all that uh, for the most part the phones pretty much look identical kind of the same things uh, you can customize and personalize a lot, a lot of things as you guys can see you can change the color of the uh, bottoms at the bottom at the back home and uh, recent applications you can customize that and change the color uh, both phones uh, move really, really quick. And as you guys can see right there on the top, we see the uh, secondary screen, uh, which uh, it's, to explain it, it's kind of like the Edge uh, feature on the uh, Samsung Galaxy Edge, just a secondary uh, option, uh, but it's really nice. Uh, you can actually add, add your signature, uh, whatever message or signature that you want to add there. Uh, you can customize uh, what type of apps uh, you get access to, notifications, uh, things like that. Uh, when it comes to uh, high graphic games, no complaints at all with uh, both of these phones. Uh, amazing uh, performance from both. Now on the uh, V10, like I said before, the uh, the RAM memory it's gonna be better. It's four gig versus uh, three gig on the G4. But I didn't notice any lag or anything like that. Both displays looks absolutely amazing, and both speakers are actually pretty loud. Some people say that the uh, speaker on the G4, it's louder. I honestly think it's the same. So high graphic games, no complaint at all. Now here's uh, some of the differences. We're looking at the uh, camera on the G4 right now. Uh, for the most part, they kind of look the same. Uh, we already know what we get on the uh, G4, so I'm not going to get into much detail here. The most important thing to mention here on the G4 is the manual mode. Uh, you can pretty much control everything. A lot of people compare this camera to a real DSLR camera. And as you guys can see, you can do some gestures uh, to activate the uh, front facing camera and take a selfie. Uh, there are several differences or additions, I should say here on the uh, camera on the uh, V10. Uh, there is a manual mode too, and there is also a secondary front facing camera. The phone has two front facing cameras uh, we're gonna look at that later, and as you guys can see on the manual mode, kind of the same than the uh, G4, but a little bit of differences here. You can control the volume of the microphone uh, when, it, when you're recording video, as well as you can control if you want to record with the uh, microphone in front of you or the microphone behind the phone. Uh, there is a two cameras. Uh, one is just a regular, I uh, believe it's a 90 degree angle, and the other one is a 120 degree angle. So it's a wide angle. Now here's the uh, V10 uh, with the fingerprint scanner. We don't have that feature on the uh, G4. Uh, really easy to set up. Uh, just put the finger there until you hit the 100% uh, recognition. 
And then to be honest with you, I was really, really impressed with how quick, how quick it unlocks the screen. Way, way better by far. I will say the best uh, fingerprint scanner on any phone right now. Really, really quick. As you guys can see, tap on the screen, put the finger behind it. Really quick, it unlocks the phone right away. And every time I tried it to unlock, it would recognize uh, the finger right away. In comparison to other phones, sometimes you have to do it a couple of times if you miss it or whatever. Here's a really cool feature. You can resize uh, the screen. Since this phone is a 5.7 inch, you know, in case uh, uh, it's kind of hard for you to uh, handle the phone with one hand, you can always resize uh, the screen. This phone also offers something really cool. Uh, once you connect headphones, it comes built in this uh, hi-fi uh, driver uh, for the audio. So if you're using like a really good headphones like I'm doing here, wow, your experience when it comes to the music is gonna be absolutely amazing. So that's all I have for right now, guys. Uh, overall conclusions here, I think, you know, in terms of build, and a couple of other things added, you know, like uh, features from the camera and all that. I think the V10, uh, I will say it's a little bit better than the uh, G4. That's not to say that the G4 is not a good phone. Uh, to me, it's still one of the best phones with the best cameras available uh, right now. But I will say with all the additional controls uh, that you have for the camera on the V10, I have to say to me, that's the best camera on a cell phone right now. All right, my friends, I want to thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe for more, share the video to help others. If you are a subscriber, thanks for supporting the channel. If you're not a subscriber, I would highly recommend you subscribe to my channel. There is always going to be new videos pretty much every day. Thank you, guys, and we'll see you later.